A shortcut that automatically ends a workout when I clench my fist. A shortcut that automatically turns on my Apple TV and opens a streaming app. And even a shortcut that brings up my grocery list while I'm at the grocery store to quickly start shopping. These are just a few of the many shortcuts that I actually use throughout my day using Apple's free shortcuts app. And today I'll be walking you through a day in my life and showing you what shortcuts that I use to improve three key areas of my life. The first one being to improve my health. I like to start off my day at 5 a.m. by going to the gym and exercising. When I get to the gym, my phone automatically enables my fitness focus mode, only allowing notifications from certain people and apps, and sets my home screen and Apple Watch face to a distraction-free color. I start my workout by using a shortcut on my lock screen that runs different shortcuts, like showing my gym membership card, or opening Spotify to play my favorites playlist. Then I go on my Apple Watch and use hand gestures to open the fitness app from my watch face, choose my indoor run custom workout, and I get straight into my workout for about 30 minutes. Running allows me to clear my head and think about the day ahead, and it's something I look forward to every day. After finishing our great morning run, I go to my Apple Watch and clench my fist that runs a shortcut to end my workout. And double clenching my fist automatically scrolls through a summary of my workout. How cool is this? After working up a big appetite, I leave the gym, which automatically turns off my fitness focus mode. Then I head home to have breakfast with my family. This brings us to the second key area that I use shortcuts for, to spend time with my family. We enjoy breakfast together before my wife goes to work. After that, my daughter plays with her toys for a bit before 8 a.m. comes around and I get her ready for her morning nap and I can get some work done. This brings us to the third key area that I use shortcuts for, and that is to be more productive. I head to my office, log into my Mac, and use a spotlight and a keyboard shortcut to quickly run my focus to work shortcut that toggles my YouTube focus mode on, limiting all notifications. Then ask me what app to open to quickly start working. This way I can just dive right into working and reduce all distractions. Right now I'm working on the script for this video and I'm making great progress until things start slowing down and I notice my hard drive is full. I should really go through and delete stuff but then I realize this is going to take a while with a lot of files to go through. So I pull up a video that shows me how I can quickly go through my files to clean and speed up my Mac. About half an hour goes by and I notice this is taking way too long. Thankfully, there's a much faster way to do this with today's sponsor, Clean My Mac X. The only Mac app to help you control and maintain your computer. Using the Smart Scan feature, you're able to do a full scan of your computer to find junk files, potential threats, and ways you can speed up your computer. My favorite feature of Clean My Mac X is called Space Lens, an interactive disk visualizer that scans a hard drive or a specific folder and shows you the size of each file in the folder to find the files that's taken up the most space and you can choose to keep or delete the files right from the Clean My Mac application. There's a plethora of options you can dive deeper into to really clean out your Mac from deleting system junk files to deleting specific apps and all the files associated with it and everything in between. I was able to clean up lots of space on my Mac faster than the guy in the tutorial video. If your Mac is running slow and you're looking for an easy and simple way to clean your Mac that has officially been notarized by Apple, then Clean My Mac X is a great option. With my link, you can download a free seven day trial of Clean My Mac X and start watching your Mac perform better in minutes. I've also got a discount code for you guys for 20% off down in the description box below. And a huge thank you to Clean My Mac X for sponsoring today's video. After doing some focused work for a while, my YouTube focus mode automatically turns off based on my schedule, and I go to wake Mary Jane up for her morning snack. At about 10 a.m., a shortcut automatically runs that turns on my house lights, turns on my living room Apple TV, opens the TV app, and then brings up the remote for this Apple TV on my phone so I can choose the Andrew Griffith show and we'll laugh while she has her snack. When she's finished, we'll play together, usually outside on her slide if it's nice out. I try to spend as much time as I can with my daughter because I know she won't be this young forever, so it's moments like these just playing together that I will never forget. 
After spending some great quality time together, Mary Jane wants to watch a little YouTube and I start to get hungry. So I use a shortcut called Kids TV to wake the living room Apple TV, open the YouTube Kids app, and then brings up the remote on my phone and I'll choose a video for her to watch while I go make myself lunch. I open the fridge and quickly realize, yikes, I'm about out of food. So I use my master shortcut from my lock screen to quickly open up my grocery list and start adding things I want from the store for when I go later today. This master shortcut I use is one shortcut that has multiple shortcuts inside it with my most used shortcuts. I find it to be an easier way to have one main shortcut on my lock screen as a central place to run everything than having to find the shortcut. This keeps things simple and clean. I'll leave a link to all the shortcuts that I use in this video down in the description below so you can download them. After destroying a yogurt bowl, my daughter comes up to me and tells me that she's wiped out from playing and ready for her afternoon nap. So I put her down and then I head back to my office to get more work done. While working for a while in the afternoon, my office starts to get hot. So I run my office fan shortcut that toggles my office fan. If the fan is off, then it will turn on. If the fan is on, then it will turn off. After cooling down and making progress, I like to take a break and go outside and get some sun if the weather is nice. Some days I'll relax on the hammock, other days I'll walk around for a bit, but either way, sometimes I'll listen to something. I use a music shortcut that asks me what to listen to. Either music, which opens the respective playlist in Spotify, or a podcast that runs a separate shortcut displaying a list of a few of my favorite podcasts, which also open in Spotify, or I can just open Spotify directly and pick something else to listen to. Right now, I'm listening to Good Mythical Morning for a good laugh. After taking a good break, it's time to get Mary Jane up from her nap and run some errands. I strap her in her car seat and we head to the library. When I get to the library, we'll browse around for a bit looking for just the right book to read together tonight during bedtime. We look through books about boats, going to the beach, and petting dogs, but none of these were quite the one that I was looking for. So we searched some more until I found the perfect book for reading to her during bedtime. When I go to check out the book, I pull out my phone and run the shortcut from my lock screen that automatically appeared on my lock screen when I got to the library. And it displays my library card to check out the book. Next up is going to the grocery store. I'll use the same shortcut from earlier to quickly pull up my grocery list from the reminders app and I can start shopping right away. This is easier than having to find the reminders app then find the grocery list. I can open up the list straight from the lock screen and start shopping. This shortcut does all the heavy lifting for me. Speaking of heavy lifting, after carrying our groceries, it's time for dinner. I have to go to work tonight, so I'm eating dinner rather early and then I get ready for work. About this time, my wife comes home from work and I head off to work for a few hours. When I get back home, my phone automatically enables my do not disturb focus mode, which turns on dark mode and night shift for a warmer white, then enables a color filter to turn everything gray. This makes my phone less enjoyable to use since all the icons are now gray and not colorful or as enticing to use. I can also toggle the color filter from my lock screen whenever I need to be off my phone during the day. I do this because in the evening, I want to focus on spending time with my family and not have any distractions. So having my phone on do not disturb mode and having the icons be gray allows me to stay off my phone and be present with my wife and daughter. I grab the book we got from the library earlier in the day and read it to my daughter and enjoy this moment together. My daughter won't be this young forever or always want me to read her a book, so so it's moments like these, sitting on my lap, having me read to her with no distractions that I will cherish forever. After we finish our book, my wife and I get her ready for bed, say goodnight, and my wife and I head to the living room to run another shortcut. We like to watch an episode of The Amazing Race before we go to bed, and we watch it in different rooms depending on what our daughter is up to. Usually we'll watch it in the living room, and when we're ready to watch the show, I'll run a shortcut that asks me what room I'm in, then wakes the Apple TV in the respective room, opens the Paramount Plus app, and turns the light strip behind the TV in the respective room to a dim blue for ambient lighting. And then brings up the remote for this Apple TV on my phone to choose a show. After exploring Madagascar, I can turn everything off with a sleep media shortcut that asks me what room I'm in, then turns off the Apple TV and light strip in the respective room. Or I can choose both and it'll turn off the Apple TV and latch strip in both rooms. 
At 8.30 p.m., my sleep focus mode automatically turns on and displays one shortcut on my lock screen called meditation. This shortcut opens my meditation playlist on Spotify, then sets a 10 minute timer and I meditate and do some breathing exercises. I find meditating to help me relax and calms my mind before going to bed. I would love to hear what shortcuts that you guys use down in the comment section down below. For more shortcut ideas, check out this video right here. And for a beginner's guide to shortcuts, check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.